In this video, we will be studying about the causes of deflationary gap. See, what was your deflationary gap when your AD was less than your aggregate supply? Now, let's see what are the components of AD. Your consumption, your private investment expenditure, your government expenditure, your exports minus imports, right? These were the components of your aggregate demand. So if your aggregate demand is less than your aggregate supply, which means number one, your C have reduced, your investment might have reduced, your government expenditures might have reduced, your exports have reduced, your imports have increased. So these are the causes of your deflationary gap. So number one is your reduction in private consumption expenditure. So being as a household, if you reduce your expenditure, which means you are reducing your demand of the goods, which means you are reducing the aggregate demand in the economy. Reduction in investment expenditure. This is your change in C and this is your change in investment. So investment expenditure is the other important component of aggregate demand and a reduction in the investment implies a reduction in the aggregate demand. So in this way aggregate demand reduces. The third we have is here re reduction in Government expenditure like government is not giving pensions, government is not giving the subsidies. So the government is reducing its expenditure. So in this way, if the government is reducing its expenditure, it is reducing the social welfare, it is reducing the aggregate demand in the economy. The fourth we have is decline in the exports. If your exports are reducing, then there is lack of demand of your products in the rest of the market. So again, the demand is reducing. Fifth is your increase of imports. See if you are importing something which means you are demanding more of your foreign products and your demand for the domestic product have reduced. So ultimately the aggregate demand will be reduced. The sixth we have is increase in tax rates. See if the taxes are increased which means major uh, more you have to give from your income in the tax so if you do not have money how will you demand because major part you are giving as a tax so in this way these are the various factors that causes the deflationary gap in the economy due to which the aggregate supply uh, demand reduces the aggregate supply i hope you have completely understood this please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us